Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Let's talk about our boy, James Paxton. The big M-A-P-L-E. You know, with all the Yankees' problems when it comes to starting pitching, I have never bashed James Paxton because I know he's what you call a experimental ace. You know he has the stuff, you know he has the arm, he wasn't an acquisition where you say, oh, the Yankees just got an ace that said it's over with. Everybody and their mother knew that when you acquired James Paxton, that the Yankees were getting an arm that would be 50-50. He could be a flop or he could succeed in New York. As of now, if you put the whole season up to now together, it's been 50-50. But as of late, James Paxton is literally pitching like an ace. In his last seven starts, he's won them all. In that span, he's been pitching to a 2.98 ERA. And let's not forget his start versus the so-called best team in Major League Baseball at that point, the LA Dodgers, where he struck out 11 batters with only two earned runs. And his next start is versus the Boston Red Sox over there in filthy, filthy Boston. Hey, don't hate me for saying that. That's what they call their city. So in my opinion, we all know the Red Sox suck this season, but the Red Sox, every time they face the Yankees, they give it 100%. My question is, do you start James Paxton in the Game 1 for a playoff series? I, for one, think you do. You know why? Because you don't want to gamble throwing out James Paxton for, let's say, Game 3 if, worst comes to worst, that the Yankees are down two games or it's tied 1-1. to you don't want to make that gamble. You want to get it out the way quick. If James Paxton loses his game one, so be it. You tested the waters early. Do not test it late. Also, we know that the opposite team, they're going to use a big arm, a flamethrower. That's what an ace is for. That's what aces do. You want to counter that with a big arm as well. And James Paxton is your biggest arm. You don't know how Luis Severino is going to come back. So I put my chances with James Paxton in the game one. So going back to filthy, filthy Boston, I for one believe if James Paxton continues to pitch like an ace and he wins that game in Boston, you just got to give him or contemplate that you're going to use James Paxton for a game one in a playoff series. Also, we all hope James Paxton continues the pace. Because the Houston Astros are lurking and they have a whole bunch of pitchers that are just nasty flamethrowers. Verlander's pitching no hitters left and right. Cole is a damn beast. And while I'm mentioning Cole, don't expect the Yankees to sign him next season. As we all seen, the Yankees, when it comes to money, when it comes to big contracts, they don't want to make that commitment. So don't put your money on the Yankees signing Gary Cole this offseason. I would love that they would, but for some reason throughout Gary Cole's career, him and the Yankees, they haven't been matching up. The Yankees could have got them numerous times during the draft, trades, etc. It hasn't worked out. In my opinion, it's not going to work out. But if you're going after pitchers, that's the guy you're supposed to sign. That's the guy you throw your money at. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. I've been reading your comments all season long. People have said James Paxton is the next Sonny Gray or was going to be the next Sonny Gray. So specifically to those people, what do you guys think about James Paxton now? Do you think he has a stuff? Do you think when it comes playoff time, he's going to live up to the hype that he has now? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And remember, I am giving away five random prizes to five random people subscribed to this channel. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel, leave comments, share, like, do whatever you want. Just be active on this channel. And once this channel gets 1 million views, I would be giving away those prizes. So, Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page